about finally getting the passing game kind of rolling and get a bunch of yards last week? Yeah, it felt good, man. We've been, felt like we had this, you know, thing on our back. And so it felt good to get out there and catch some balls and spread the ball around a little bit. Talk about your touchdown. That was pretty impressive. Yeah, it was actually just kind of a messed up play, scramble drill. The corner blitz, so I converted to a hitch and I just then did scramble drill when I saw Taysom try to take off. And um, luckily I was able to tap my foot in, so it was good. How hard is that? I mean, we, we see guys do it all the time, but focusing on bringing the ball down as well as getting the foot down in yeah, no, that type of circuit. It's hard because you got to focus on catching the ball first and you kind of lose track of where your feet even are. So I knew I was just close, and so I just tried to tap it and just see. And uh, ho luckily it was it was in, so. Fun to watch that one on film, you know, because it was, you know, a nice catch and uh -huh. a nice finish there. Yeah, yeah, we just reviewed it. And, you know, there were some good plays made, though, like Nick. We all thought the elbow down was maybe in, so I don't know. I want to go back and watch the TV version of it. After watching film of the wide receivers as a whole, what do you think is your biggest takeaway um, as a coach? <clears throat> um, from that game? From SUU. Um, probably just, I don't know. I think we did well exposing kind of if they were in a zone. We, we did a good job of kind of getting in the holes and then allowing our quarterbacks to make a play. Also, kind of when broken plays happen, such as when I scored the touchdown, we were able to uh, pre do pretty good in the scramble drill, I think. Also, uh, the wide receiver segment you did with us kind of sparked us to play good this game. So, <laughs> You're your, welcome. Your career is coming to a close. You started the walk on, and how would you kind of describe your your journey here and, and how you've emerged as a, as a bona fide playmaker? Yeah, man, it's been um, it's been quite the journey, um, and I'm sad to uh, see the end kind of coming up. But man, I I wouldn't take anything back, and I'm glad I had to work for everything and every rep I've gotten here um, at BYU and it's been a blessing and it's been the, the funnest four years and four football seasons of my life and this season's been awesome man this team is close um, it's been a lot of fun I know we've fallen short a few times uh, but we've been right there um, every time and so <clears throat> just want to finish it strong have fun the rest couple of games hopefully we'll chuck it around a little bit like last week and uh, have some fun you got engaged too didn't you? I did yep after Mississippi State so Right after the season's over, I have other stuff to look forward to and other doors opening, so. How did you come up Tanner did in his first uh, game? What's uh, that? How do you think Tanner did uh, first game? He did season? good, and <laughs> we were all just kind of laughing because this dude was trying to run around the field, man. He did good, too. He had some good scrambles. I told him I hope he was going to leap for it, that one where he got kind of close. I was like, just leap for it, and I don't know. It, it was fun. I, th I thought he played well. I he did well. Did you come up with the idea to propose after the game? Would you have proposed if you had lost? Um, I had a different plan for if we lost. <laughs> it would have been different um, for sure. But um, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to do something with the with football, through football. And I didn't really know how. I had made the plan to, the same day of how I was going to do it. I didn't even know. And it just happened to work out really well. So it was good. Did you guys get a little bit of a boost? with the, the bowl invitation and just knowing like, okay, we'll be spending this bowl season in, in San Diego. I mean, did that kind of boost you guys? For practice yeah, no, years? yeah, it's, it's all, always exciting to uh, get to play in the postseason and get that extra game. And, and bowl games are awesome. They're a lot of fun. You go down their whole week um, and just really get to hang out with the dudes. And so that'll be kind of the final uh, stamp. That'll be uh, the last kind of hoorah, you know, BYU football for me. And so I'm looking forward to it in San Diego. It's going to be awesome, so. Preference of who you play your last game? Um, I don't have any preference. I don't even know what it's looking like right now, so I don't know. If, if it were Boise State, would you guys want a rematch or would you like new blood? Oh, I would love that, actually. I would love to play Boise State again. <laughs> I don't know. Um, is that is that looking likely or? Outside possibility. Outside possibility, yeah. No, I'd be. That'd be awesome. Preference, Boise State. So. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the team you're facing this week in Mass. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't seen a lot of them yet. Um, I've watched a little bit of film earlier on in the season. I'm just kind of checking them out a little bit. But I haven't really, don't really know too much yet. But I'll let you guys know uh, later on in the week. This year's different than years past because there's not really one standout <clears throat> receiver who's getting the majority of the yards or receptions. Uh, what's the relationship amongst the wide receivers knowing that and you're all working together to get what in the past has really been only two or three guys. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. So me and we, we have a group uh, text chat thing with all the receivers in there, and we're like, all right, guys, 
we're all going to pick from a hat, and the guy who gets it gets all the balls next game. We'll see if we can get him 100-plus <laughs> yards. So um, it, it's awesome. Our relationship in there, it's all of us, um, we're tight, we're close. And um, it's never been any – kind of in the past, there's kind of been a little competition feeling, you know, even in the middle of the season in the receiver room. And um, this year it hasn't been like that at all. Um, we've actually, I think, through the struggles and, and through the – I don't know, we just become closer, I think. And so that's never been an issue, um, kind of that deal. And we're all happy for each other when each other make plays. And, and it's been a lot of fun in that room this year. Whose name, who's name got pulled in? We actually didn't do it, but I was hoping I was going to kind of try to rig it a little bit, <laughs> put a couple slips in there of my name. In the so as a senior, you know, looking at the young guys, Aleva and Moroni, mm -hmm. what do you see in them and ways that they can progress? Man, those guys have very bright futures and I'm excited for them and, and next season to see what they can bring to the table and Aleva is going to be awesome a uh, young player but he's he's going to be really good when he matures and of course Morona he's still young and you've seen the kind of the plays he can make you've seen a glimpse of his playmaking ability this year and so I think the uh, the receivers room will just get stronger um, here in the near future. Any other questions? All right thanks Colby. Thank you guys.